Let's now see how AI Auto Planner runs in action. So in this example, I have a three floor building. So I have main hall, then floor one and floor two. And I have already defined my requirement areas and requirements for them. So here you can see a requirement area selected with how best practices applied. I have also some drywalls, some windows and doors, etc. defined. So my environment is all set. The only thing is missing is my wireless network. And the fastest and easiest way to uh, design it is actually to use help of a auto planner. And you can find a auto planner from actions menu as a first selection. When you fire it up, you will see that you can select uh, desired AP model for your plan. Uh, from a thousand of access points that we support. In this case, I will use uh, Meraki MR57, which is a six gigahertz uh, capable access point. So we are we are now designing for six gigahertz in this plan. I could start the planning process already, but I want to show you first some of the advanced options. So what you can choose in addition to access point model, you can, for example, define uh, transmit power for each of the bands or select antenna height that you will use. Uh, you can also check that all the uh, required uh, requirement areas and floors are included in your plan because the AI auto planner not only uh, runs on single floor, but it optimizes the plan for the whole building. In addition to that, you can optimize with capacity or for mobile devices. And actually the new channel planner is also part of a auto planner. It's a completely new algorithm which uh, provides you with the optimal channel plans. So for example, you probably will be always using uh, channels 1, 6 and 11 on 2.4 gigahertz. But for the other bands, you can select any bandwidth and channels you like, as well as for the six gigahertz band. Just make sure you have a proper uh, regulatory domain selected so you have the right channels available for you. In addition, you can also configure uh, your uh, network for capacity, for example, by choosing the minimum data rate or number of SSIDs per radio. Uh, in this instance, I will not change any of these settings. I just want uh, my six gigahertz network to be planned automatically. So I click create and see what happens. What's going on? It's that AI Auto Planner is now uh, placing access points on all of my floors and trying to find optimal locations for them, as well as optimal channel configurations for all three bands for 2.4, for 5 and for 6. So that's a lot of work, but as you can see, it's already deploying the plan and voila, here it's ready. Just a couple of minutes and your brand new plan is complete. But now we actually need to analyze uh, the results. We need to check uh, what kind of a job the AI Auto Planner did. So uh, we can see from the summary bar that uh, our ne network health is at 99% pass rate for 2.4, uh, 99 for 5 gigahertz and 98 for 6 gigahertz. So extremely promising results. And this is a result of almost 5,000 iterations that AI Auto Planner run on this uh, building. And in total, it resulted in 33 APs. We can check the details to see how these APs are distributed. So for each floor, you can see a breakdown. So you have 11 APs for each floor. And on all floors, uh, the network health pass rate is almost 100%. So extremely good results from AI Auto Planner. But let's not stop here. Let's go to the inspect mode and look at different bands. So currently we have a five gigahertz band selected 
And here on the right hand side, you can see a requirement pass rate for each of my requirements, uh, including uh, primary and secondary signal strength, as well as SNR data rate and channel interference. So it's almost 100%. So this is very good plan indeed, or a starting point at least for your plan. Uh, now let's look at the six gigahertz uh, band, how the AI auto planner performed there. And the story is almost exactly the same, or uh, it's almost 100% for all my requirements also on six gigahertz band. Uh, let's quickly look at the 2.4, same story here. So as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, uh, we created a, a wireless network plan that already meets all my requirements, which otherwise, uh, even for a three-story building, could take uh, hours even to, to design this. Uh, and of course, you can still manually uh, in design mode, for example, you can go ahead and change any of the access point locations, but the hard lifting has been already done for you. So I'm pretty excited about these features and I hope you enjoy them.